show you how to share on Google Docs. Now, um, this is Google Drive, and I'll just show you how to get to Google Drive. Um, if you go to Akshu, uh, you should be able to find Gmail single sign-on. So I'm going to take you here. Uh, in the top right, you've got this um, app, Google Apps button, and it has various different apps here. Uh, this one is Google Drive. Now, Google Drive is a cloud file saver. So uh, on your computer, you can save files. You can also save files on the cloud. And um, this means, this is very useful. It means that you can, if it's on the cloud, then whichever computer you use, you can get into the files, or even your telephone, your smartphone, your tablet. Next, these are three different apps on here. There's Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Um, Docs is uh, a bit like Word. It's a word processor. Sheets is a bit like Excel. It's a spreadsheet. And Slides is a bit like PowerPoint. It's a, a presentation software. Um, and so these are all also on the cloud. So you can access these on the internet. Um, and because they're on the internet, it, they're also very good for sharing with other people, uh, which I'll come to in a moment. But let's just look at docs first. So if we want to make a doc, um, we press on here, we get a file, we, let's start with a blank document, um, and it looks something like this. Uh, so we can type in here, you can type your story in here if you want to. If you have your story ready, um, I have my story somewhere on a text file. So I can copy, um, let's just do control A and then control C, and I can paste into here. So here's my story, my story's in there. I can put the title of the story up here. Um, and then that's some, that's fine, that's great. So next then, um, sharing. Now there's a blue button up here uh, that says share. And if we press on here, we have various different options for how to share it. Right now, um, only people added can open with this link. So I'm the only person here. I'm the only person who can read this. Um, there's a button here, change link to Shinshu University. Um, so in fact, here are three options. Uh, restricted, which means only me. Or it could, for example, if I'm writing something with my friend, I can just share this with my friend, and then two of us can edit or read the document. Um, this one is anyone in Shinshu University. So everyone in this class is in Shinshu University. So if we have this setting, then everyone, anyone can read it. And this one is for anyone with the link. So this means people outside um, the university or people who have their own personal Gmail account can access this. Um, so let's set it to Shinshu University. And over here, there are another three settings, viewer, commenter, or editor. Um, so it's now set so that anyone can read it, so that anyone in Shinshu University who has this link can read the document. This is great if we want people to read our story. Um, there's also two more options, commenter or editor. Editor means people can go in and change our story. Um, we may not want that, um, but we do want comments on the story. So let's set it for commenter. That means people can go to our story and they can write comments or suggestions. Um, so let's um, copy this link. It's now set so that anyone at Shinshu University with this link can comment. Um, if we copy this link, we can then go to, let's go to our story in the forum, and um, we can go and make it, we can reply to our message here. Let's reply. And let's change this to um, Google Docs. Uh, and in here, we can just paste the URL, but let's try to make it a bit more pretty. Let's make a um, let's make a hyperlink so we can type click here, then Control A, 
And then this chain item is the, the link adder. So we click on there, we can put the link in, create the link. So now this is a hyperlink, it looks nice and it works. Um, I'm just going to switch that off and post this to the forum. And now here is our um, here's our message. Here's the next part, Google Docs, and we can click here and see our story. Um, so uh, this is what it looks like for us. Um, how about for other people then? Um, I've just I've logged into a different browser with a different user. Um, so I can see this, um, I can see these messages, and I can see here. So if I click here, um, I'm now logged in, not as myself, I'm logged in as somebody else. So if I write in here, um, I can, um, I can make suggestions. So for example, let's just read, the, oh, it was proving to be, maybe we can just, um, change this. Let's just change this to um, it had been. Just a suggestion. Um, so I'm suggesting how this can be changed and what happens with my suggestion is it comes up here as a suggestion. Um, if I'm writing, if it's my file, I can then accept this um, or reject this. Uh, I can also make uh, comments, questions, so for example, um, let's see, um, what time was it? I can ask and add a comment and then these comments appear here. Um, so as you can see, this is very useful for adding comments and suggestions on somebody's writing. Uh, so I think you should try using it. Good luck. <laughs>